Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Empire Total War with the American Civil War mod. So, as I said, I would go ahead and install the latest version once more, just to do some custom battles, to um, sort of um, simulate me invading uh, Canada and Mexico and maybe more places. So we'll see how many custom battles I'll do. Anyways, this is Pickett right in front of us and he's marching on the Canadians so without further ado let's go ahead and fight this battle shall we right and so there we're off we're looking at the Alabama volunteers moving forwards followed by the Kentucky volunteers in turns follow followed by the Marylanders which for some reason moved into line and beyond them, we've got some dudes from Tennessee. Right, so the Canadians. I, I just took a map. I don't know if this looks particularly Canadian. But the Canadians. Oh, I didn't realize this map was that large. Um, right. And there's actually only one way to cross through here. And that is through this road. So it might actually take some time for us to get to the bloody Canadians, so we might see some uh, me cutting through this material and actually trying to find a good way to uh, actually advance on them. Right now we do have the main road going straight down through here, so I think if I advance through here up to this very tiny village I will end up on the right flank of the Canadians, and um, I mean, if they take the hill here, I could take the hill here, and then, I mean, we would need the high ground. I could take the high ground here as well. There is a second road going through here, which I could send troops up on. So. Uh, I do have a few options as I'm sending my men forwards. Not entirely sure why these guys decided to go into line. Not that it helps going into column, but I just think it looks nice. So the heavy artillery battalion is moving forward over here. Really like those uh, the red facings on those uniforms. We've got the um, state cadets. From South Carolina. Got some cavalry moving through. And uh, what do I also have? I have some uh, sharpshooters. McGowan's South Carolina sharpshooters. Get off! They really look like. Get off my property! And we also have the Wheat Tigers. Looks like we'll have our first clash of arms. We've got British cavalry spotted close by, and they're threatening the forward movements of our column, and uh, most importantly, the artillery. Charge the British cavalry! Charge them! I'm not entirely sure what the British are doing if they're trying to evade. But I was able to attack in their flank. Now let's hope that we are able to outfight these guys. I'm not entirely sure what um, the, stati the stats are in between the units. It looks as though the British are, a even though we were able to charge them, they are actually outpacing us quite badly in this battle. Um, to the point where we need to prepare to deploy troops. Wheat Tigers are the first on the scene to try and help the cavalry get out of that forest. I am trying to deploy some artillery. Shit. We got British light troops. The thing is what I noticed with this hill is this hill is actually the end of the map. So I think we'll have to actually withdraw the cannons 
Pickett has to redraw as well because uh, the cavalry was defeated. The British cavalry was able to see us off even though we were able to get in the charge first on them. Shit. Get those sharpshooters into position and I want the infantry into line immediately. As British cavalry is sighted on the hill. Hurry troops, hurry! Oh shit, come on! The Wheat Tigers are able to open fire. The exhausted British cavalry gives up after a short skirmish here. They decide that it's not worth it. They have already suffered enough. Right, the infantry will try to gain as much ground as possible while the sharpshooters continue to harass the cavalry and force them to retreat. Light infantry will advance. Cannons. I'm gonna have to set these two horse artilleries up on this hill. I've already ordered one of my other batteries to take this position right here, which should work fine for us just then getting in order. Right, I don't think that cavalry unit is going to come back. However, we need to think about how to fight that British light infantry. Um, advancing through that steep, um, over that steep hill is not going to go too well. So I think we're going to bring the light troops over to this side. Nice, these guys are in position and will deploy. And we've got another another battalion coming up or another brigade coming up to aid us here I'm gonna deploy these two cannons on the hill here we got picket he's gonna take position somewhere behind to be able to overlook this um, oh the uh, the British cavalry are back what I want to do is I want to angle these guys a little bit better for the advance up the hill and we're gonna have to hold here I do think maybe the artillery will be able to help us. We do have the heavy artillery battalion ready to open up on these guys. Oh crap, they're gonna go for this guys. And they can't form square. They've got their iPod airs in as well. Shit. Right. Line infantry. Ready yourselves. I should have sent some troops. We can still send these troops down this road here. I think I need some some guys going through the forest here to attack the British. They're opening fire. They managed to get one of the British light infantry which are moving up. But I don't like this position. We need we seems to we've lost the hill, so we need to retreat back up on our side of the hill. Also, we got British Light Infantry turning up on the sides here. The British will be able to uh, gain quite the uh, head start on us. We do have three additional or one extra brigade coming up here which we'll deploy right here. And I do have these artillery pieces ready to set up. So far we haven't seen the enemy's artillery opening fire, which is good. Right, whenever you're ready, deploy an open fire. So this area is currently, as we can see, under quite heavy fire. It looks like we've found the British artillery. They've set up over here. And they're shelling our position right down here in the valley. They're shelling the state cadets and the heavy artillery battalion. As well as this British regular infantry is now opening fire on us. And we're in a very, very bad position here. I want to redirect the artillery to fire at these guys. 
and uh, the guys down here in the valley is gonna have to retreat further further back here up the hill we were able to send the British light infantry off that's nice and having the Confederate Marines let's see who else the Pelican Regiment of Louisiana 24th Georgia and Hood's Texans will be able to send off this light infantry unit which is in full retreat at this point but hopefully also these Canadian militia unit there's actually two of them coming out but this area we've got big problems I want these guys to form into line and start spreading out along this ridge getting up on there how's it going for the wheat tigers they're holding off the British for now, but for how long? They're suffering quite a lot of casualties and uh, they're kind of outnumbered. They're already kind of breaking. They are breaking. Gowns, sharpshooters need to pull back even further as uh, they kind of hold, hope to hold that position on their own. We are damaging this unit, but I think we might go ahead and hold fire, switch to canister and then fire canister from this position. I'm pretty sure that with the, with the troops we have lined up here we'll be able to defeat the light, light infantry which is once again retreating and the, the Canadians and uh, with that I'm hoping that we can push the flank on the British and in that one and in that way send them off I'm not entirely sure why it's lagging the FPS is fine so it's something with the game instead um, and these have pretty good range these artillery pieces I was wondering why they were firing for the militia so I'm not entirely sure why it's let's go see how how not smooth it is. How it's gonna lag it. But when I go to slow mo, it actually works. There might be. Well, we know that this this part of the mod or this upgraded version is not very stable. So it could be that. The States Cadets firing on the militia on the hill. Those bloody British light infantry. The 24th of Georgia will move up and take position on the hill and be able to send these guys off. Once that's done, these three will try to climb the hill and get rid of those guys. The Wheat Tigers. I was about to say they're back. They lost half their men, so I can understand that they do not want to join in the fight too much. I have no more troops to send in... So to stop these guys, it's going to be all down to the canister fire of the cannons. It could be due to the fact that I switched to canister on the cannons. Maybe. But the thing is, I cannot not have canister at this point. Given the uh, amount of British troops coming on. And they're... Uh, they're moving really close. It's the 24th Georgia. Hopefully we'll be able to deal with these guys. Hood's Texans can gain some ground and then these two behind. You can see move up. Oh, now it seems to have gone back to this normal smoothness. The Texans will move! Ready to send those those British regular troops. At the same time, the British over here are coming really close to the canister shots. However, just as they're about to overtake the cannon position, we've got the Kentucky Volunteers and three other units ready to aid here. Canister blasting through the British line, which is at this point charging the heavy the heavy um, artillery battalion. We've got another British unit which is retreating. They're going for the artillery. The heavy, 
the heavy battalion will counter charge to the best of their ability, which seems to be not that great because they're charging the wrong way. We'll have the battery retreat behind the Kentucky men, and the Kentucky men will quickly move into position. Okay, the battery is retreating. Up. However, the heavy ba uh, artillery battalion is now bel <laughs> melee fighting with uh, the British oncoming force. Oh no, the heavy battalion was actually routed by the British. The um, state cadets will retreat to the hill. Let's see. Let's get these guys quickly in position because right now they're just standing taking fire from the British light infantry. Light infantry, I should say. Go on then, Georgians. Ah, oh, god damn it. Typical. Um, they have kind of the same sort of, uh, what's it called? The same kind of morale system as Napoleon Total War 3, which means that the units will route quite a few times and come back. Okay, Gowns is pulling back. They've lost a lot of men. South Carolina sharpshooters. Let's see if the Alabama volunteers are able to fire and send the British off. I do have more battalion or more troops moving in here. What's this? Uh, the artillery is rallying. However, I doubt I will be able to. They will be able to make a significant difference in this battle, as uh, we're currently not being able to take control of the cannons. British lining up to f put quite the devastating flank fire on us, as they've split our army in two, and um, basically f we've lost the row there. Okay, so the 24th left the field. Bloody hell. Um, Hood's Texans will turn towards the light infantry. The Pelican Regiment, however, and the Confederate Marines will now wheel towards the British, which uh, have taken a position here. Uh, we're gonna have to wheel to position ourselves in a way that we can defeat this British unit which at this point is turning to fire at us. So, quick movements. Oh, you know what? We need to pull back. We're holding off the British here anyways. Oh, the British general was caught in a volley. Or oh, the Canadian general, maybe I should say. It's a Canadian militia, but I do not dare charge it since that could unravel this side. So the British went strong. Oh sh! Um, we're not gonna advance, seeing as though the cadets are pulling back. Instead, these units are gonna move up the hill. Hopefully, the Hoods Texans will send these guys off, and we can rally. So, British general. It's about to get shot down here, which, I mean, is a bit shitty, but I don't mind it that much, given that, given how poorly it's going right now for me, where they, <laughs> they've managed to split my army in two. Okay, we need to reform here. Okay, I'm going to be do a shitty thing. The entire regiment of the Tennessee Volunteers volleyed the general and somehow did not manage to kill him. Right, move up on there. And we'll try to make make a new stand along here in the forest. We do have this sharpshooters, which we can set up here, and the cannon crew, which I'll put back here. As we can see, there's loads of British troops now advancing into the gap which they've created right in between us. At this point, I think that 
a real general would probably have uh, ordered his men to pull back quite hard and uh, not really surrender but we would definitely not be fighting in when we uh, when the army is split like this right this is not going well for Pickett he's hoping that the local commander on this side is able to rally the troops and uh, he's rallying the troops on this side uh, the cadets are firing again we'll hope the marines get into position before they are routed uh, Hood's Texans coming in gonna aid in the flank here I want this artillery position is not that great but I'm not entirely sure if I want to you know what let's let's reorganize it see if I can get canister down on the enemy okay so we're all across the line here looks like these uh, Canadian militia is trying to outflank my Tennessee volunteers you know what I'll, I'll just order them to shoot at them and then they can form wherever they want so we're holding on here for now seems to be going fine did I not order you to go ahead and limber your guns so what I'm planning on doing is I'm moving these cannons over here or maybe even even no not in the open we'll put them here and we'll put them firing canister and then we'll put we'll wheel these guys so they're able to fire in a better arc because one thing that we did a miss I did there was I didn't put the cannons close enough to the edge of the hill that they could fire down the hill as the British were approaching uh, so they kind of had this um, area where they could hide as they advanced and that's why they were able to get so close as they did so my troops here are holding damn they're putting a lot of shots down here at the flank of this British unit this one probably not doing too well as it's meeting Hood's Texans and they're in a really poor position there right next to the house oh look at that we've got militia moving away over there and quite a few I think the British might have had enough at this point their attack was bold and they did break me in two and they're they sort of charged almost to the point where they're able to cut off my retreat but at this point my troops have inflicted so much damage on the British that a large portion of their force is retreating and uh, with some good use of my cannons we're getting some good canister shots down on the enemy I wish I had some cavalry left so I could charge after some of these units I think the move the units to move are the units on this side and you're not really firing or not the entire units firing so you can advance and the Kentucky troops the Kentucky troops are actually firing with that regular unit so the Alabama the artillery crew will follow the Alabamans and will try to reclaim the guns uh, hopefully the Marylanders right here together with the Tennessee volunteers will be able to send off the British regular right there and we can move up maybe get to their guns and uh, some other snazzy positions right now a lot of British troops are retreating we've got one still fighting over there and we've got two fighting still over here and I don't know why these are firing canister that way oh shit you know what pretty sure we probably shot quite a few of our own of the Marines there 
The cannons, yeah, they should be turning that way. The cadets will take the marines' place and continue the fight. Uh, Hood's Texans will try to gain ground on that hill, while the Pelican Regiment will move down to the road and continue to harass the British. And from our position here, the Alabamans will turn on the British flank. The cannon crew will get back on their cannons. We got pretty good fire going down on these British regulars, and I think they'll give up any time soon. Oh shit, look at that. Canadian militia is moving back into position. Hoods Texans. Oblique fire up the hill. Come on! Get those blimeys! Maybe uh, the Americans wouldn't say that. Canadian militia was forced to retreat, however there's a British regular just behind them. However, we got the Pelicans just coming into position and unleashing their volley onto the regular British unit. Good work. The canister shots are doing good work on this British unit. We're about to open up flank fire here and be able to uh, send these guys off. You know what? I think we'll go. We'll dare to go even closer. I'm surprised this British unit hasn't given up yet. Oh damn, the sharpshooter's got a long range. I did not know this, that it was that bloody, uh, that bloody long. Right, I don't think these guys are coming back, so Hood's Texans can advance. The Pelicans can go down there. The Alabamans. I'm an Alabama soldier and I, and I want to be free. Free from the British tyranny. Hurry! I hope you're loaded. We can't really see the British through there. Fresh, steady, concerned, and a small arms fire. We've got a pretty nice position there. These guys are back on the cannons. And if the enemy... Oh, unfortunately. So, unfortunately, as you guys could see, the battle crashed. However, I think it was at such a point that we're all well aware of that I was actually going to turn the tide there and um, be able to uh, win that battle as I had defeated most of the Canadian troops at that point and the British regulars. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do quite a few more of these and hopefully they won't crash as this one just did. And for the next one I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, attack Mexico and see how that goes. I also have some other um, quite interesting battles planned up ahead and hopefully uh, unlike this one they won't crash but with that said I hope you guys still enjoyed this battle and hopefully you'll stick around to see some more hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you for the next one bye